Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Um, after some requests, this video is going to show you how to install and how to use the Tornado Mod. Now the first thing you have to do is in the links, uh, the description of my videos, I'm going to put, I have a link and I'm going to post all of the links in this video also. You have to download three things, the Tornado Mod itself, the Audio Mod, and Mod Loader. So let me just go ahead and give you a little example. Let's go ahead go to my YouTube and let's just go to video manager alright the latest episode of Minecraft Tornado Survival now in the description I have posted the link the Koros that's the guy who makes the mod this is gonna go ahead and take you to the web page where you can download the actual tornado mod you're gonna get the latest download for 1.2.5 that's the best version and I think that's the one that everybody should get you need as it says you need mod load and audio mod so we're gonna go ahead and get I believe it is mirror one so you're gonna go ahead and download that blah, blah, blah you know click download starts then you download it. I'm not actually gonna download it because I already have it downloaded so you're gonna download that and then you're also gonna do mod loader and audio mod now both of these are on the same page um, on the Minecraft forums, you just gotta scroll down to the bottom. Mod loader 1.2.5, download direct, and then you'll just save that. Um, some save that, it'll go to your downloads folder, and audio mod down here. Also download that. They're both updated to 1.2.5. So after you've downloaded everything, uh, go ahead to your downloads folder, which there should be a directory some here on the left. Um, as you can see, I already have my three downloads. I have audio mod, mod loader, tornado mod. I'm not gonna show you how to, to, how to do too many items. That was that's so. That's the thing that you see me have that has all the options on the the right side, and it has allows me to have it start raining automatically. There's plenty of tutorials on how to install that on YouTube, and it uses this actually it uses the exact same format as I'm going to show you for mod loader and audio mod. So if you can get the hang of doing these two, then you can also do too many items. Now you're gonna need an additional program. You're either gonna need WinRAR or 7-Zip. I personally prefer WinRAR, uh, 7-Zip, because WinRAR just is crap. <laughs> it never works for me, um, and it always is just annoying because I have to, because it always asks me to buy it. But 7-Zip, go ahead and just Google that and download 7-Zip. And I'm going to create, for to make things easy, create a new folder on your desktop, we'll call it Tornado. Yay. Okay, Tornado. And I'm going to drag in the audio mod, the mod loader, and Tornadoes version 1.1. Now, when you download, now no, I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so these are the files, the three mods that you need. Now, go to this program bar down at the bottom. If you have Windows XP, you might have to go to Start and then Run, but you're going to type in percent app data percent. That'll bring up this. Go to dot Minecraft. And then you're gonna you're not gonna have all this crap. This is just me messing around with stuff all the time. But you're gonna have these folders here. You're gonna want to go into dot Minecraft, bin folder, and then you're gonna look for the one that's just straight Minecraft. There's gonna be a lot of sometimes you might have these older version ones in here. Use for the one that just says Minecraft and it'll, it should say a jar file. If you have 7-zip or WinRAR, you're gonna right click, 7-zip, open archive. Now if you just click open, it's not gonna allow you to do this. You have to open it through the archive. It's going to bring up, it's going to open up the jar. And this is what Minecraft runs after. So we have opened up the jar. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that. Drag this over here. So this is the jar file. And then I'm going to open the tornado folder. And the first one I'm going to, the first one I'm going to want to have you install is going to be the mod loader. Now, there's going to be a folder in here that says meta inf. It's going to be like capital letters. Meta inf. It'll be spelt like this okay if you see that folder you need to delete that folder that prevents modding now if you delete that folder whoops okay cool if you delete that folder that'll allow you to mod now you're gonna do the same thing we do with the jar file so open up the mod loader through the archive it'll bring up this thing again I'm gonna drag it to the left all these class folders you're gonna select all of them click and drag and drop them into the jar folder. It'll say, do you want to copy these files? Click yes, copy them all over. 
That takes care of the mod loader. Next, we're going to do the audio mod. Same exact thing. 7-zip, open archive. Click and drag. Highlight all of them. Click and drag. Drop them into the jar folder. Click yes. Copy them all over. All right, and we're done with those two. Those are the two simplest ones. Now you're done dragging the things into the jar folder. You can go ahead and close out the jar. And I'm going to bring back up through typing in percent off data, go into Minecraft to bin. And I'm going to go ahead and bring this back up. Now, once you've installed Audio Mod and Mod Loader, I recommend loading up Minecraft to see if it works first before you try installing Tornado Mod. Go ahead and just run Minecraft. If Minecraft starts up and you can play on a world, then you've done it correctly. If you get a black screen, it's probably because you did not delete the meta inf. And if it crashes on you and you get like a little error screen, something about mod loader, you probably have installed mod loader before and you need to come in here to the mods or configuration folder and delete everything that's in it. All right. So once you've installed those and you've gotten them to work, you're going to have these new two folders here, mods and configurations. So that's what mod loader does. Mod loader is a program that allows you to keep, your, keep all of your mods organized. It kind of keeps like it kind of controls all of your mods for you so you don't have to do that and then audio mod just allows the enhanced audio like the wind and such now we're going to load up tornadoes you do not have to open this through the archive you can just double click it well it's going to bring up the open archive anyway so go ahead and open it through the archive and you're going to get a folder that says put contents in dot minecraft and then you're going to get three pictures these three pictures that's not going to load for me. But these three pictures are the pictures that I have in my download. These three pictures here, it's just this, the recipes. You don't need those. You can keep them, like I save them here so I can look at them if I ever need to see how to do them. Like there's how to make that. Sensor, the sign, the tornado gun, the worm gun. If you want that, that's you can keep that. Otherwise, go ahead and click on this folder that says put, con put contents in dot jar and dot minecraft folder you're gonna get a mod folder and a resources folder the resources is usually what has all of your sounds in your mod that run through your minecraft so if I click on here you can go to all the different sounds and listen to the music through audacity which is the program that probably will run the sounds the best but I'm not gonna go into that right now so what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy both of these folders click drag them over and click yes do these for all the current items do all for them copy and replace and we should be good to go. It replaced, it added new sounds in for the tor like the wind and the actual tornado and then in the mods it has added two folders. This is where I ran into some errors. You have version 1.0 for 1.2.5 and version 1.1. You have, so you're having the same mod but two different versions. These conflict and it does not let Minecraft run. So what you have to do is after clicking and dragging these over into your .minecraft folder, you need to go into the mods and delete one or the other. I play on 1.1. I think that's just, I mean, it's the updated version. Why would you not play with the updated version? Um, it's got the bug fixes and everything. So go ahead and delete the 1.0. You do not need that. So the only thing that should be in your mods folder is the weather version 1.1 for Minecraft 1.2.5. And then your resources, it you don't have to edit anything in that. Everything's fine. Now, after you run Minecraft once, with that mod installed, it'll create files in this configuration folder. I have a couple other mods on, so that's why I have other configuration folders, but you're gonna see mod weather and mod extended rendering will pop up with the tornado mod. Now, you need to download a program called Notepad++. This allows you to edit these folders because for some reason on my computer, it doesn't save them as a, um, it doesn't open through Notepad. Some computers it'll allow you to open them through Notepad. So if you can edit them in Notepad, great. But I like Notepad plus plus just because it's better. Like it makes it a little bit. It sets it up made for like programming stuff. And this is where I was coming to problems about like not knowing what to do. Um, so this is all the stuff you can change like no rain or rarity of increase four thousand stuff like that. Rarity of increase four hundred. Blah, blah blah. I'm not sure what I need to do on. Like, I don't know if I need to make them true, like higher, or lower, or what. But this is where you would edit that, and then an extended render renderer. This is where the rain was like it wasn't showing up, so you have to change smooth rain to true, so it actually shows up again. 
and some other rain stuff that I haven't messed with yet. So that's how you would get to the configuration settings. Um, now that should be just about it for installing the mod. If you've done everything like I showed you, it should work perfectly. If you have any problems, uh, put a comment and I'll try to I'll try to answer to see what's going on. Um, and if anybody wants to like reply to this video with one of their videos showing how to use how to use the configuration settings, that'd be awesome. Um, but I think that's about it. Hope you guys could follow that. Um, I kind of put that together just randomly, so hopefully you guys could follow that. And hopefully you can enjoy some tornadoes. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys for a tornado survival episode on Tuesday.